Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Sons of the Forest today. Here we are down in the bunker with the 3D printer where we left off. Everything is quiet down here. Uh, we did run into some issues last episode. We'll get into that when we get back to the surface. For now though, I want to point out that it looks like everything's respawned here again, which is incredible. I'm going to go ahead and grab as much of this as I can hold. Yes, yeah, very nice. We're picking up everything. I also watched a few tips and tricks videos. So normally with most games, I like to try and stay fresh. I don't, uh, let's see, can we add more? No, I don't uh, like watch stuff ahead of time. I want to learn it myself, you know, but with this one, there's so much going on that I decided, you know what? I probably should watch at least a couple of videos so I don't die from just stupid mistakes and stuff. But this game is very new. It's brand new. So, I mean, there's there's some good stuff out there for sure. Some really helpful content. I have learned a lot. But still, take everything I say with a grain of salt because it's all based on other people's knowledge. You know, I've only got a few episodes in. And it's early access. Everything's subject to change. You know, things could change in the next update drastically. But um, anyway, we're doing good. So what I want to do is whip out my bow. I want to keep that baby in my hand now that we got some arrows. Good, good, good. And let's head on out. Let's go back to the surface. So that's where, we're, where we'll talk about our first little issue is that our good buddy Kelvin, I think his name is, the little AI partner that we have. Yeah, I lost him. I don't know what happened. I, he might have gotten killed. I'm not sure. That's something I haven't discovered If he's if you can't actually... If he can die, essentially, I don't know, but um, he's it, it shows that he's on the map somewhere. Oh, I, I just saw something climbed out out of the tree. Let's eat a little bit real quick. That guy's hungry. We found ourselves another MRE underground, so that was nice. We are getting a little sleepy too, but that I mean, it looks like it's getting towards evening. I just want to come out here. And I want to do a little bit of hunting and stuff. We're getting a little bit of lag here, just coming out into the world. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's better. But uh, let's see. So even if we lose our buddy here, you know, I still want to play through this one. Oh, see, it says K is nearby. See, okay. So originally in the previous episode, we left the K icon somewhere else, but it looks like he's traveled or he's here now. I don't see him though. Wait, is that him down there? Or is that one of the mutant freakos? That might be him. Oh, that's our buddy. What are you doing, man? So I accidentally turned off his command to follow when I asked him, yeah, follow me, bro. When I asked him to build a tent, I, you know, I think it disabled the follow command naturally. So <laughs> now I've learned the lesson there. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So he's not gone. Thank you. Maybe he can't die. I really don't know about that, but uh, we lost him last episode. But this episode, he's back. Time to celebrate. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's forget. Oh, okay. Here's another thing I learned. This young lady right here is not hostile. Okay? So there's no need to attack her. She's strange. She does have three arms and three legs. So she's a weirdo, but uh, she's not hostile. Don't attack her, and if you see her, oh, if that's okay. If you see her being attacked, you should help her. Um, she will eventually, if you play your cards right, join you and become your ally and help you out in certain ways, even like protect you and fight for you and stuff. So it's worth keeping her around for sure. Now, um, there's other little bits and bobs I've learned, but uh, we'll, I guess we'll kind of go through them as I encounter the each scenario uniquely. But uh, it is getting late. Um, I want to start really practicing just camp craft and getting things like hunting accomplished, maybe some trapping. Maybe we can clear out a bunch of these trees tomorrow. I want to save a, a, the major exploration for like later on, but I know that there will be some things we'll need. First of all, I think I'm going to try and s let's see, can we build a fire? I want to build a fire myself. So let's put this away. I know I can just order him to do it, but I'd like to kind of try and get it done myself. So I think we need some sticks. Let's grab that. Now, if I break it, yep, break another one. Okay, beautiful. F to light. Yep. All right, we're good. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Uh, put those away. 
There we go. And I would like to pull my bow and arrow back out. Of course, you gotta you gotta go into your bag each time and look over here. It's kind of annoying, but uh, there we go. I like it. I like it. I think also I don't know how many arrows I have. Like, I guess I'd need to go into my bag and count some. Yeah, I guess. But um, you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna set another fire. We're gonna set it over here though. So same thing again, real quick. Okay, we are good to go. So we got two fires on either side of the old tent here. I hate how you can't walk under your own tent. But um, maybe they'll change that in some future patch. Anyway, that's good. So let's see if we can't sleep now a little bit. Normally, oh, there we go. Okay, so we were uninterrupted. I think it's maybe it's because it was quiet here. There were no animals jumping around, no, no mutants harassing us. So I think that might be why we got through the night so easily that time which is good. If we have a nice peaceful area, we should be able to sleep uninterrupted like that. I like that. That's how the mechanic should be. Anyway, so like I said, oh, I'm crouching. Um, we're going to basically do some crafting and stuff. Whoa, first things first. You know what I want him to do? I'm, holy shoot, what was that? What was he doing there? <laughs> Is he just making, oh, there's something over there. What do you see, bud? Oh, it's in the trees. I see it. All right, well, no worries. I mean, we're just going to ignore it. This is our home. We're going to defend it. Now, what I want you to do, my friend, is we're near some fresh water. So I want you to go get some fish. Yes. And drop it here. Beautiful. All right. So I've seen this is another tip I saw is that this guy can literally just go pick fish out of the water. So if he does, ooh, that's wonderful. Go. Oh, yep. He go, climbs right over the thing. All right, so now he'll leave us a little pile of it here, I guess. That's great. Um, yeah, see, if you don't mess with the mutants, well, no, never mind. I was going to say they'll leave you alone, but this one's kind of coming up to us. Here he is. All right, yeah, get out of here. No. Damn it, that was a terrible shot. There we go. I am thirsty. Did he just take my arrow with him? Yeah, I think he did. There's one. All right, let's go get some water real quick. Replenish our needs. Oh my gosh. Yep, I should. Every time I sleep, I should be paying closer attention to that. Let's see here. There we go. Drinky, drinky. And hopefully. Gosh darn it. I was going to say, hopefully the fish will be enough. Look, this is the guy with my arrow in him. Yes. All right. All right, we got our arrows back. Beautiful. Let's get these here. Can I please get the arrows? I can burn him. I know that. There we go. Okay, I got him. So if we pick him up and put him in a fire, I know he'll burn. Oh, holy crap. Are we seriously going to have to fight 10,000 of these things? Ah. Oh. Where's the other one? There it is. All right. All right. Come back here, and you're going to die. I should probably get another fire started, to be quite honest. Let's do that real quick. Oh, my God. I'm over here just trying to chop down trees, and this thing's attacking me. Am I on fire? Oh, my God. I just went in the fire, too. All right. I got to put myself out. All right. We're better now. Dang it. I built, I built the fire for my own protection, and I just walked into it. I tell you what. All right, bud. How's the fish coming? Oh, yay. We've got one fish. That's awesome. Now, I want to kill these things. I'm tired of fighting with them. Oops, so, ooh, I just set the other fire. Okay, so I'm learning here. I didn't need to start the second one like that. I gotcha, I gotcha. Now, how do I interact with this thing? Isn't it F to bring out my thing? Okay, yeah, there's the fish. Let's put that on there. Cool, cool, cool. Oops, uh, we'll close it. Very good. All right, we'll let that cook. Also, I think I kind of want to pick this guy up and maybe burn him for the bones. At least, oh, there's another arrow there. Uh, G to drop. There we go. Very good. Yeah, he should burn up. I think he's close enough. Where's my arrow? I swear I saw it. Maybe it's in the corpse. Was it in the corpse? Uh, I'm not sure. Looks like he's burning, though. All right. Well, there it is. Okay, we got somebody here again. Oh my god. I'm getting my bow and arrow out. We're going to do this. 
Stupid mutants. All right, well, I'm checking out some traps here. I like this bone maker trap. I think that might help us with some of our enemies. So I want to set this up. I need two sticks, some leaves. I think this is cloth here, a bottle and some rope. We should be able to do that. So let's click on that. If I set it, how do I rotate? Q and R, okay. Yeah, so I think this is like where we trigger it. Let's set it away. Yep. All right. Now here we are. I mean, we usually get guys attacking from out here. Let's just set it right up here. Oh, yep. There's a dude right there. See him? I hate these guys. All right. So what do we need? I've got. Okay. Oh, I need the rope. Tell me I don't have any rope. How do I craft up some rope? That's a good question. Um, it, it can't be something only, you know, you can only scavenge, right? We got to be able to get some rope. Oh, there's bones and stuff down here. Um, hmm. well, that's on hold then till we get some rope. I'm thinking about some other stuff. I want that skull. I know there are little sticks and weapons you can make with skulls, so I might have to look into that too. How's he doing? Do we have any fish right now? I've been cooking up the fish he gets. I thought I put one on here. Where is it? It's hard to see with all the bones. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where's that fish at? Um, here we go. See, he's dropping them. He's getting them. You taking a little break, buddy? He could be taking a break. Yeah, look at this idiot. Just right in the fire. Get out of here. Right in the dang fire. Okay, I'm going to keep this going here. Let's do some fish. And I probably should throw some of this money on there, too. Let's burn that. Don't want the fire to go out like the other one. All right, that's good enough. Oh, boy. What a day. It's hard to get stuff done with these stupid things. I want to just throw, start throwing grenades at him. Look at him. He's a complete moron. He reminds me of a uh, dude from Lord of the Rings. Oh, I want to just waste him with my arrows, but I don't want to waste him. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Well, the bad news is after looking around on some of the uh, Google search pages, there is no craftable rope. We have to go and discover some. So that means I can't just sit around the camp like I wanted. I'm going to need to go do a little exploring. The good news is they do kind of point out where you got to go. There are suitcases and stuff. So we want to go to one of the cave locations. And in fact, if we go back to the crash site, which isn't far from here, our original crash site, I bet you that some of the stuff is respawned there, just like it does down below. So it's worth going over there, which, like I said, it's not very far. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, by the way, in case I didn't mention it already, you can zoom in and out with your GPS. Figure that out also with the middle mouse button, not by scrolling, but by clicking it. So we are headed right up here because there's a cave and the crash site. Now, my question is, did we check the cave up here? The initial cave? Well, we should probably double check it anyway. Now, our buddy's still back there getting fish, which is okay with me. That's totally fine. Okay, well I found this camp here next to the waterfall, so this is definitely a, vi a good spot we're checking. I don't see anybody here, so could be some rope, I guess. There we go, energy drink. I actually might want to drink some of that. What else we got? Oh, what is this? Oh, of course he's going to eat it. Yep, that's typical. Uh, what else? Some money. I don't see any rope yet. I'd like that fish you got there, bud. What is that? Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, uh, damn it, I wanted to read that. Whoa, where'd we get the golf ball from? Oh, I guess there's some on the floor. Here we go. Hank, you spent all this time setting up a golf course and you haven't ordered any golf clubs or balls. How are we supposed to play golf? Oh, boy. Oh, well, he looks like he found some balls because we got some here. Uh, all right, we're going to keep checking the suitcases. Okay, this is getting annoying right in front of my face like that. There we go. Ooh, so far, no rope. There might be something. Oh, look, we can save it here. Yes, please. I should save it while I'm traveling. I always take every opportunity to save. Now, there could be something inside here. No, doesn't look like it. All right, anything else that I'm missing? Probably. There's some bottles. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. All right, let me grab my uh, bow and arrow real quick. How we doing? We might need to drink a uh, little energy drink next time we get thirsty. <gasps> Ooh, that tarp is nice. I like having those on me. <gasps> oh, 
look at that. What was that, folks? Two ropes that we just found? Heck yeah. Now, it's still worth, I think, checking out the crash site. Let me see. Oh, my God, this thing. How close are we to it? Yep. Away from me. All right, there's a plant right here. I just ate that. Oh, my God, this thing's... Oh, dude, straight up trying to attack me right now. Love how I can shoot at it and then literally just go grab the arrow. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? This this place is good to go. Let's go back home, actually. Um, I don't think I need to go all the way back to the camp. Oh, more plants. All the way to the original spot, now that we've got that little rope we found there. At least I can set a couple snare traps. That'll get us going. Hopefully, it'll keep us like a little bit quieter around the campsite, keep things there quiet so that I can do some serious building. I'd like to maybe try and experiment with the craft, uh, with the building of actual shelters, you know, something a little bit more permanent than just a tent. So we'll see about that. Oh man, the glare on that GPS makes it hard to see. But here we are, right back at home. Well, that's good. Now, if the loot does actually regenerate in places like that, hopefully we can go farm that for more, uh, you know, more rope later on. Now, oh, did I just burn myself again? Christ almighty. I'm going to watch that. All right, we're good. We're good. Now, where's the fish at, bud? Did you drop some? Put that away. Where's all the fish? Oh, my God, look. He stacked it on top. Are you kidding me? Why'd you stack it there, dude? All right, we're full of fish right now. Let's, uh, let's cook some up. Did you see that? All that fish he brought? That's insane. Three. Okay. And G to close. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? You need something? He's all bloody. Um, all right, we've got enough fish, so let's just have him follow for right now. Right, you know what? I probably should have him, like, just clear the area. I know he'll do that. All right, we good here? Oh, that was raw fish? Darn it. How do you know when it's cooked? Does it just change the look of it, I think? Nope, dang it. All right, hold on. I want to get back to the fire. Put those fishies back on there. Good. G to close. I'm still learning. Still getting things figured out. Okay, looks like this one's done. Yep, okay. Cooked fish collected. Good, good, good. So we're, we're okay on food, though, right now. All right, but here, I got a new order for you. Let's get you to clear within 10 meters of this area. There we go. Very good. Okay, so this thing is officially set. It looks like I've got the trap here. Um, I might, I think I want to set up. Oh, look, I was just going to say one right over here. Come here, you got him. Nice. Oh, still alive, huh? Sorry. All right, so yeah, I'm definitely going to set one over here. I think let's pick this guy up and drop him. I want to get my arrow. There we go. So, hmm. Now, he's supposed to be clearing right now, literally. Go clear stuff, bro. Oh, oh, oh my god! Not going down because of one of you. Oh, these things. Don't step in the fire again. Oh! They definitely get more, like, aggressive. The more you, more of them you kill, they come right at you. All right, we got the arrow back. Ugh. All right, I'm going to try and set another trap over here on this side of the river. So I can just do, hold down the inventory. Let's go to the book real quick. Traps are still here. Bone maker trap. Let's, um, let's put it that way, it's fine. Wait, why, can I place it? Wait, hold on, it won't let me place it here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there we go, right there that's decent that's decent we should have all the things boom there's a second one let me grab this guy so he's not in the way i don't know how well that's placed we might have to move it again but we'll see actually can i just dump this guy in the fire it's kind of annoying i need a fire for cooking and a fire for burning corpses because yeah having all these bones scattered around when i'm trying to cook is kind of annoying anyway we got tons of fish for now and look at this. 
he is prolific, although I had him set the fish down in like a terrible location, didn't I? Oh boy, all right. Okay, we got one of these bad boys staring at us. He's not one of the normal mutants either. Oh, dang it, I did not mean to drink that. Um, I meant to grab the bow and arrow. Let's grab that. Yep, so this guy right here. I'm trying to set up the small cottage. As you can see, I got my outline. This guy's wanting to come, come pay a visit. Bro, this is our territory, man. Get out of here. All right, he's just, all right. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Put one right in your hip. All right, he's dead. All right, whew, man, oh man. I hope that, I hope we don't get more of them now, but we'll see. Anyway, he's supposed to, this guy's supposed to be clearing. I guess he is, yeah, he is. Okay, he's knocking stuff down. This wasn't all me. I did a couple of these things, but that's good. Okay, so now it's just time to, I guess, put this away and start picking up stuff. So F to pick that up. And I know we can pick up two at a time. Now, what about this? How do we do this? Just F and F. Boom. Super easy. I love it. Now, I don't know if this is a great spot, but it fits here. You know, you can see the front of it will be right here. We'll be looking out down over the uh, the valley. So I think this is decent. Let's just put these down here since they're super close like this. Yep, so we're going to get all the low-hanging fruit. In other words, all the close trees that I can get. Oh, man, this is... this is. Oh, don't go in the fire, bro. What are you doing? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? I just got the cottage figured out. No, I'm just kidding. He can rest if he wants. He looks like he needs it, man. Now, my question is, can we take the stumps out? Oh, I really hope they allow us to take the stumps out. Because that's going to suck if we can't. But, um, oh, well, we'll just deal with it see here top all right well i'm gonna do the boring bits just carry all the logs whoa 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 so somehow i just noticed after i was running around that this trap got set somehow all right i'll just reset it <clears throat> i'm not sure i think it's backwards though i think i should have it facing that way but oh well we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes now the other one over here is still oh christ i just did that myself Yep, that was me. That was me. All right, so I got to be careful. I didn't take... Whoop! I don't think I took any damage, but we got to watch it. We got to watch that. I think it's reset. All right, we're good. Just be careful around him. <laughs> I think my guy can... I'm sure my dude probably will set him off too if we're not careful, but uh, he's probably more careful than I am. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you can see the little cabin in the woods is coming along quite nicely, quite nicely. We are getting to the point where I'm starting to put in like the floors and stuff, so that's interesting. It does it so nicely too. I don't have to worry about like any of the uh, tedious nonsense here. I just grab the stuff, take it on over and put it in whoops whoa that was glitchy looking there we go get out of there we don't need this piece anymore drop that and toss it i've got a bunch of half pieces here for some reason not using all of them that's okay okay well the cabin's coming along nicely it does take a heck of a lot of logs though but uh, i've got him carrying them over oh there she is again hello Hi there, come on over. We're not going to kill you. I know better now. I'm sorry I killed you in the past, but that was a different version of you. And uh, this weirdo here, he's not going to bother you either. I, thought, I think she's gone. Oh, no, there she is. So eventually we can give her food and stuff, but I think right now we just need to kind of let her know that we're not hostile and stuff. But um, anyway, it is getting dark out here. I'm going to make sure our fire is uh, fed. Looks like it might be getting a little low. I want to make sure this is going. Yeah, let's throw some more cash in there. Good. Now, are these? No, these are cooked. So, uh, yeah, those are good for now. Whoops, those are good for now. In fact, I should probably eat them. Let's open the inventory up real quick. Grab some fishies. Eat one of those. Mmm. Delicious. All right, so we're good there. Can we drink? Is there anything to drink here? No, I think that's empty. I should probably fill that actually too. Oh my God, it's so dark already. All right, we'll fill that in the morning. Uh, spend a couple minutes in your uh, inventory, and man, oh man, it gets pitch black out here. All right, there's our boy. Hey, bro, come take a break, man. Next time he comes over here, I'm going to tell him to take a break. But uh, 
I'm also going to grab my bow and arrow. I feel a lot better with that. How about the... I'd rather have... Don't we have a flashlight? Yeah, there it is. How do I equip the fla flashlight like permanently instead of the stupid lighter? This is better. Yeah, this is going to be good for shooting, I think. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is a little bit better. But um, it's quiet. I'd like to try and sleep. So let me save it real quick. And then I'm going to try and sleep through the night. Maybe we'll get lucky because so far it seems like there's nothing really around. Uh, we'll see. Oh, we did it. We slept through the night again. Awesome. Uh, the traps were not sprung. That's good. I'll probably need to dismantle them and place them in better spots eventually. But uh, for now, they work. We're just learning, so that's all good. Cabin, look at this bozo here. He's doing great. Good job, my friend. Uh, I've got a lot more work to do, though. Just picking stuff up and moving it. Oops, don't, don't put the lighter away. Don't burn down the cabin, bud. That's not what I want you to do. All right, there we go. Keep placing them in there. Keep placing them in there. All right, guys. Well, I got a bit more work to do before this is done, but uh, join me in the next episode because we're going to finish this construction, maybe do a little bit of exploring. I know we need to get prepared for winter, find the coat and stuff, so that'll be fun. Anyway, guys, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.